OTA programming stands for over the air programming. In this video, we will be programming ESP32 through OTA. There are two ways in which we can use OTA with ESP32 board. You can have a detailed idea on how these two methods work and how you can do it through the article. Here we are showing the working of both the OTA updates. The first one is basic OTA. In this over the air programming method, we use the Arduino IDE itself for uploading the code. For using basic OTA method, you just need to download and install Python 3.7 in your system. After that, just upload the basic OTA sketch example from the Arduino IDE to your ESP32 board. After uploading the code, you will see in the Ports tab a network section mentioned. There you will be seeing your board. By choosing the network port, you will upload the new code over the air in the ESP32. And the other one is Web Updater OTA. Here, we use any browser for dumping the code to our board. In this method, after uploading the Web Updater OTA sketch, you just have to visit the IP address through a browser. There, you will be seeing a web page through which you can upload the code. 